there are theorists who have said that history is constructed only out of those events that contribute to these larger narratives. But there's so many different narratives now. There's a multiplicity of everyone's stories. And I'm thinking that this is really going to change the way that history is put together. This um, massive accumulation of memory and of storage and these constant trajectories of becoming that people are engaging in where they're storing the past and storing the present as it becomes the future. And there's all these interlocking stages of experience that are collapsing into each other now with this archival impulse where everything is saved immediately. Everything's being naturalized very quickly. Like, oh yeah, we can tweet everything, we can Facebook everything. But this is a first in all of human history. And I think we, it would behoove us to step back and think about, well, wait a minute, every sensation, not every, many, many more than were ever reported before, is now being saved, archived, as it happens. What is that doing to the way that we experience the present? What is that doing to the way that we think about our memories? This is all starting to, um, to collapse and intertwine with each other in ways that are really fascinating.